Snoke is Palpatine. Wait, wait, hear me out. You're fulfilling your destiny. Warning, possible spoilers for episode nine if this leak turns out to be true. So click off now if you don't want potential spoilers. Okay, so if you aren't up to date on the leak, supposedly there's a MacGuffin in episode nine and both sides want it. So they're trying to race towards it. Well, according to one leaker, this MacGuffin is actually Palpatine. And we already know Palpatine will be in episode nine. His laugh was in the episode nine trailer and then Lucasfilm confirmed it. So here's basically me expanding on that leak and how I think it could be possible that Palpatine was Snoke. And I know that sounds crazy, but it'll sound less crazy, I hope, by the end of this video. Also, apologies if someone already came up with this video idea. I just, I don't have the time to scour the internet and make sure no one else came up with this. And I want to share, so I don't care if someone else was before me or has a similar idea. This isn't about them, it's about me and my ideas. Okay, so Snoke being killed in episode eight was an unusual choice. And I hate to say it because these two words basically give me hives at this point. It was to subvert our expectations, I mean, Ryan has basically thrown that out there. But even though Snoke was killed so suddenly, that doesn't mean that Snoke didn't have a deeper purpose or meaning. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, I think Snoke was controlled by Palpatine, or Snoke was Palpatine. I guess I could have left that dramatic reveal for this point in the video, but whatever. So a few weeks back, maybe it's a few months at this point, I honestly can't remember. There was a leak that maybe Palpatine was controlling Snoke the entire time, and it began to work in my brain of how exactly that would be possible, and I think I've come up with a viable way. And if I haven't, you can just mock me relentlessly. Totally okay. I accept it. So what we know of Snoke is limited, to say the least. We know he was a Force-sensitive humanoid alien male that rose to power as Supreme Leader of the First Order and wanted the Jedi Order destroyed, though importantly, he was a user of the Dark Side, but wasn't a Sith. But we know other snippets too. Snoke acquired things from the Dark Side of the Force. At one point, he went to the mines beneath Vader's castle on Mustafar and obtained a black obsidian stone that he then wore. As we know, Mustafar was a dark side locus. Maybe taking that stone helped him become more powerful or control or concentrate his powers. Or maybe he just wanted a, a fancy ring. I mean, Snoke was kind of a, a snazzy dresser. Do you know anyone that could pull off a, a gold robe like that and still look intimidating? I only know like one person. But I say there was another reason. Snoke was a collector of dark side objects. I mean, we know he was a collector of arcane lore, so that would probably include dark side objects. And I think this coveting of arcane lore, specifically the dark side kind, led to him going to the ruins of the Death Star 2 and encountering the essence of Palpatine and then being controlled by him. Which I know you're thinking, okay, yeah, cool, that makes no sense, uh, you are a psycho. You're correct about being a psycho, but this could actually work out. So let's talk about that episode nine teaser where we see the ruins of the Death Star 2 and we hear Palpatine laugh and Luke say, no one's ever truly gone. No one's ever really gone. <laughs> We later got confirmation that Palpatine is in fact in episode nine, which is a bit weird because we know Palpatine was killed by Vader, supposedly in Return of the Jedi and Siths. Can't be Force Ghosts though. I know Disney and Lucasfilm have been playing around with that idea a little bit. 
So how else could Palpatine be around in Episode 9 if he's not a Force ghost and his physical body was destroyed? Well, probably because his essence is tied to the Death Star 2 or some object within it, which has an explanation because I'm about to tell you a cool ass story. Well, it's cool to me, it's probably not to you. So the Mask of Lord Momin was created by a Sith Lord named Momin. And if you were left alone with the mask in an enclosed area, you could be corrupted by the dark side of the Force. This corruption was able to control and influence the bodies of those that were near it, even after they were dead. You didn't even have to wear it for it to influence you and communicate with you. You just had to be near it, which is terrifying. And the mask has controlled people before, including someone that wore it, became possessed, and designed the fortress for Vader in minutes. Which, now let me tell you how the essence of Lord Momin was put in the mask, because that is directly related to Palpatine. So Lord Momin, while doing some really evil shit, surprise he was a Sith, he was interrupted by the Jedi, which led to his destruction. During this death, only his mask remained, and his consciousness was engraved in it. Heck, at one point during the OT, Momin even was able to possess a body, open the door to the dark side, and resurrect his original body. And you know who knew about this mask and its abilities? Palpatine. Palpatine knew the mask's entire history, and you can probably guess where I'm going with this. Just like Lord Momin, Palpatine died doing some evil shit and dark side shenanigans, and perhaps his essence was engraved into an artifact or the Death Star 2 itself. I mean, if I was an evil Sith Lord, I would want to make sure my consciousness got engraved into something, especially since, you know, the rule of two and your apprentice is always going to try to kill you at one point, which Palpatine definitely knew about and was prepared for, even encouraging Vader, you know, get strong, dude. Come at me, bro. Not exact words, don't quote that. So Palpatine engraved his consciousness into the Death Star 2 or some artifact on it. Snoke, who we know loves dark side objects and arcane lore and was very aware of the Sith and Jedi, may have gone to the Death Star ruins on Endor to see if he could find anything of Palpatine's that was useful to him. His lust for knowledge is what got him. Because what Snoke wasn't expecting was Palpatine to be waiting for a Force-sensitive, or maybe anyone, to come along that he could take control of. So Snoke goes into the ruins looking for artifacts slash knowledge and gets possessed by Palpatine's consciousness. This could be why Snoke was so powerful. When people were possessed by Momin's mask, they could do incredible things. Snoke could have been Force proficient, but not nearly as amazing before Palpatine took control. So Palpatine continued to control Snoke, trying to acquire power. Maybe he was seeking to find a way to resurrect his original body like Momin had. Or maybe he was all about that galaxy domination and just couldn't let it go. But when Snoke was killed, Palpatine's consciousness was forced back to his tether, the Death Star 2 or something in it. Maybe Palpatine has found a way or used Snoke to make it easier for him to corrupt a person. Maybe he has enough strength now and becomes a threat to Kylo and Rey and their respective factions. From what Lucasfilm has been telling us, Palpatine has always been the main villain across all the Star Wars trilogies. And with Palpatine being back, it kind of makes sense. We also were told that the MacGuffin was going to be a little bit controversial. I kind of think people are a little upset by the idea of Vader not truly killing Palpatine, so that could be the controversy. And if the leak is true that Snoke was being controlled in some fashion by Palpatine, that would maybe explain how Kylo was able to trick and kill Snoke. Maybe controlling another body is difficult. Or maybe Palpatine has a bad habit of letting his apprentice kill him. What's interesting is from this leaker, he suggested that why Kylo and Rey join up is because Kylo realizes he needs to destroy the MacGuffin that has Palpatine before he takes another host body and takes control of the First Order. I feel this would also make sense in regards to Kylo wanting to finish what his grandfather started. Grandfather. And I will finish what you started. 
Vader started it by killing Palpatine's physical form, and now Kylo is going to finish it by killing his consciousness. Then this puts other things into question. Did Kylo always want to do this? When did he learn of Palpatine's presence? Was Han in on this? He did caress his son's face lovingly as he died. There was a sense of understanding. So maybe Han knew what had to be done and wanted to give his son the strength to do it. That makes the Luke Kylo thing a bit odd, but I'm still working on that. I guess what I'm saying is I hope this video helps make sense of the leak suggesting that Snoke was controlled by Palpatine and how Palpatine being around in episode 9 could make sense. I don't know if I achieved that. Probably not. I guess we'll see. Which, if all of this is true and it ties into Kylo wanting to finish what his grandfather started, maybe this is why Rey telling him this? You. You're afraid. That you will never be as strong as Darth Vader. <laughs> pissed him off so bad. I don't know, I just had these thoughts in my head and I needed to get them out and I really like the idea of Palpatine controlling Snoke and I like the idea of Sith artifacts, which we've seen in other canon, being able to corrupt people with their essence and make them do really fucked up things. But what do you think? Do you think it's likely that we have a Lord Momin situation with Palpatine or do you think Lucasfilm will go in a completely different direction? Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.